Hello everyone, Darth Ayard here. I wanted to share a few things with you that had occurred to me, even though I've been talking about them extensively actually on my streams, Lord knows not everyone can actually catch my streams, so I wanted to make sure everyone was aware of it because, well to be honest with you, I thought it might be fun. You see, one of the things I've always found fascinating in fiction is comparing what I like to call relative power levels. I don't mean like in Dragon Ball with, you know, the power has... Ah, no, none of that stuff. What I actually mean by that is, for example, who do you think is the strongest robot master in Mega Man 2? Who do you think is the strongest individual amongst the Street Fighters in Street Fighter 2? Who is it you think is the strongest Final Fantasy villain? You know, these kind of questions I get all the time. I feel like... I mean, I know why I find these kind of questions fascinating, but I feel like it's the kind of thing we all find interesting, if for no other reason than it's something interesting to, in to think about. Now, for me, it's a two-part thing. First, it's intellectual. It's a way to take the bits and pieces of information we have and put them together in something that assembles into a coherent picture, right? And I might be like, well, what do you mean? Doesn't the canon actually say blah, blah, blah? Well, yes and no. And whether it says that or not can be considered valid or invalid. For example, let's say that two individuals fight in a movie or a game, and yet based on the circumstances, one of them wins, not by being stronger or better, just because of circumstances, right? That doesn't mean they're stronger or better. You see how that can get muddied. And in a lot of franchises, there's not really a lot of consistency. This is one of the reasons why the most common thing I tend to hear this kind of discussion with is in comic books. I have had huge, lengthy discussions, not arguments, just discussions with friends of mine amongst, you know, my, my friends who are comic book geeks about who do you think would match up in this versus that, or who do you think is better in this particular category, who's smarter, who's stronger, who's overall more powerful, etc., right? So again, it's that intellectual exercise. For me personally, I tend to think of it as an overall form, a very simple formula, but a formula that basically boils down to raw power, whether it's physical strength or energy output or whatever, times some kind of multiplicative that has to do with their skill, how good they are at applying that power, and that equals their overall strength. You can switch the words around however you want, but it's the same formula regardless. The other thing I like about it is the social aspect, because one of the things that I've talked about many times is how works can be interpretive. Star Wars is probably the penultimate example and why I'm wearing this outfit for this announcement here, because, and, and if you'll notice up in the title, Star Wars is up in that title, because everyone disagrees about Star Wars. Who's the better pilot? Who's the better bounty hunter? Who's the better Jedi? Who's the better, who's the strongest Jedi? Who is the best of the duelists, you know, purely in lightsaber scale amongst the Jedi? There are so many different opinions on it, and everyone disagrees. Now, of course, as I've already, I've already given the reasons why, it's interpretive, first of all. It's Star Wars, which, even though some work has been done to get the extended continuity contiguous with itself, there are still flaws, and it's not always exactly contiguous. Uh, this is applies to ships as well. There's a book, which I generally like, but there's a section in that book where a few dozen Victory-class Star Destroyers are destroyed by a couple of mines. Which is insane. <laughs> and completely non-contiguous, right? This is just one example. So, you, you see how these kind of discussions can come up, because we can't actually look at that as hard canon. It's actually adaptive canon, a.k.a interpretive right so um the reason we all this is this is why this is fascinating i love hearing other people's reasonings and discussions i love hearing other people say i like this or i like that or i find this better or i think this is stronger or whatever right now to make one thing clear the point here is the intellectual discussion and the social engagement of hearing other people's viewpoints so one of the things i've been encouraging people in this tournament which i haven't even talked about yet um the tournaments and the title there, is to give their reasons why. Because I love hearing the why. I love hearing why it is you have your interpretation. And if it varies from mine, or if it's similar to mine, or if it's completely different from mine, right? I like that. It's engaging. That's the social aspect, right? But I mention this because, t and I want to make this adamantly clear, this is not a popularity contest. We actually had uh, tossed around the idea of doing a pure popularity contest kind of a thing just like this, you know, just for fun. But that's not what this is, or either of these are for that matter. This is sitting down and thinking who would actually win based on, you know, your interpretation and, and, and uh, perspective of those characters, right? More or less in however you want to interpret them. One of the interesting ones is we got a new discussion about Yoda, and this discussion is basically ongoing. You know, the general idea is, well, a lot of these characters have lived for long periods of time, so we usually are probably considering them having matched up against each other at the peak of their power, right? At the peak of how good they are. 
What is Yoda's peak, exactly? Huh? When is Yoda at his best? See, that's a highly debatable thing. But I, I, get, I get off the point. The point is, if you want to join us in this, you are more than welcome. There's going to be two links down at the bottom. One to a Star Wars tournament, which has been going for several weeks now. And one for a Final Fantasy tournament, which is actually going to be three tournaments in one. Um, because of how many characters are involved. Which has not yet started, but will be starting within the week. And I invite any any of you who are interested to come join us. I mean, you know, the whole point is for it to be fun. But I want to stress this again. It's not about popularity, okay? There are several cases where it's like, man, I hate this character, but I have to vote for them because I think they would win, right? And in some cases, it's like, well, I dis, you know, I, I like this character, but I think he would lose, you know, that kind of a thing. So who knows? I, I just thought I'd share it with you because I know a lot of you don't really get a chance to watch my streams, and I know not many of you are really keeping uh, track of my forums, so who knows? See you there, guys.